Hello class, I'm Jeffrey Dugdale and welcome to my art history talk on the photographer and video artist David Stephenson. Today I'll be talking about the life and work of photographer David Stephenson and in particular looking at the series Stars which is currently presented at the Art Gallery of New South Wales as of June 2020. After completing a Master of Fine Arts in Photography, studying in his homeland of the United States of America, David Stephenson tracked to the other side of the world to immediately start working at the University of Tasmania School of Art in 1982. He headed the photography program from 1984 to 2013 and still is an educator there today. Looking at the image stars, 807. This is a multi-long exposure of possibly the south celestial pole. This is the point at which the sky above all the stars in the southern sky rotate. Monochrome in appearance, perhaps a black and white print. No colours of the stars can be seen. Yet it is a kaleidoscope spinning in binocular vision. The eye wanders chaotically across the image, unguided, unfixed and in constant motion. The view across the series takes the eye line skywards, as if in a pose of Christian prayer, hands clasped, eyes upwards to the heavens giving us a voyeuristic eavesdropping on David trying to open a direct commune with God. The sky is the limit after which lies the domain of the sublime. Though we now know what is beyond the sky of our world is the vastness, the space and time, planets, galaxies, and even maybe aliens. Our very senses won't allow us to see past the great blanket of the night sky, filled with its clouds and stars. David's photography reminds us of our dependence on this illusion, not only that it was used in the old world for navigation, but also we use it in our modern world to keep everything in motion. Historically, the stars were relied on for physical orientation and even for moral guidance. Yet today, these very points in the sky are made use by satellites to track our place in the world, conveniently displayed on our phones. While we are looking down at our screens, the heavens above still guide us. The imagery may or may not demand your spiritual attention, though you need not a soul or spiritual sensibility to appreciate its stark beauty, its purity of message and content. His subjects are often singular in subject, a silhouette of a man or trees, a cloud, a cathedral vault, and in this series of photos, stars. Stars, of course, are laden with spiritual baggage that we all inherit by religious or non-religious upbringing soaked up from the zeitgeist. David uses the tool of his trade, the camera, with a high level of sophistication, knowing how to manipulate lenses and aperture settings and his expert use of timing and location to render an image of his own design. A mimicking of creation in Genesis with every image. He uses the stars in the sky like tools, creating sparks and flicks of light that dance across the image with deliberate intent, as if to bend, twist and manipulate light to his artistic whim, to create something new, a novel vision of the heavens from something that which is already pure, celestial and divine. 
David Stephenson's photography has been exhibited widely across the world, from here to Australia, to back in the land of his birth, the United States of America. None of that matters in order to take account of his work though. The imagery is inescapable in its beauty. David forces focus of the viewer to narrow attention down to its elements, to their basic constructs. Nightscapes to sky, sky to clouds, stars to light, and light to the divine. It seems David is in search of God through his lens and beckons us to do the same. I'll leave you with the words of David himself when describing his own work. My art has remained essentially spiritual, a transcendental experience of awe with the vast space and time of existence.